previous Flyers coaches in their first year, so they need 10 or 15 games before they could evaluate the team and where they're at. Uh, are you at that point now where you can evaluate where you're no. at? Nope. Is the story of this game for you, the, the special teams, power play goes over six and get up short in the goal? Yeah, yeah the, 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 see, I think we're right there even going into the third. I thought we played some really good hockey. A couple of deflections go in. Um, the fourth one, the, the shorthanded goal, it's just, it's hard to recover. Uh, but special teams has been a problem. Coach, you mentioned yesterday you liked the play of Owen Tippett. It seems today he had it going too. Are you happy or do you see his confidence kind of building as a younger guy? His confidence is growing, yeah. yeah. It still has a lot to learn. To follow up on Charlie, you talked yesterday about having those bad penalties. Did you see it like that was kind of the feeling on some of them today as well? I don't even, no, I don't, I don't think, I'm not, no, not today. We, we just, our, our special teams have struggled. With the special teams, are these problems you feel like have been ongoing or in the past few games have things been slipping? Yeah, they've been slipping the past couple of games. John, where do you think uh, Joel Farabee's game is at right now? Excuse me? Joel Farabee, where do you think Joel's game is You know, I, I have to, to give you individual assessments, I just gotta, I gotta watch the tape. It's, it's unfair to the player, so I gotta watch the tape. John, John, how do you keep the guys from getting too low? Because this kind of feels like maybe the most lopsided loss of the season. See, I don't look at it that way. I don't think it's the most lopsided. I, I think we have, uh, um, you guys look at the score and say, holy shit. I don't look at it that way. We put in a lot of good minutes. Prior to the thing that bothers me the most is the shorthanded goal. What if we score on that power play and it doesn't go the other way? I, I, I think our efforts there, uh, there are a lot of good things going on with the team. I, so again, like I've told you before, I don't look at the score. I have to coach a team on what's going on. So uh, you can call it lopsided. I, I don't look at it that way. I, there are things we have to improve, special teams we've talked about. Uh, but if we keep our energy and our effort, uh, we'll figure some things out here. Over the last few games, you talked a little bit about being more pleased with just the play in, in the offensive zone and in puck possession. Why don't you feel like the, the team has been able to capitalize on the, the opportunity? Haven't been able to finish. Ottinger was just tremendous tonight. And it, he was just, he just, you could see how much confidence he had. We, we need to put some people in front of him. They score a couple of deflection goals. That's the difference going into the third period. Uh, I think the chances were even at that time. We had some good looks. We've, we've moved the puck. Uh, I think we've come out of our end zone a lot cleaner. Uh, we've had some good offensive plays. We didn't finish. John, John you, you've talked a few times this year about how you guys are going to have to scratch and claw for, for goals, just the, 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 yes. the type of team that you have. Yeah. With something like the power play, you know, obviously you don't, you don't want to see the team go over six, but how much of the power play issues are just inherent to the type of team you have and how much of the issues are fixable in terms of structure and execution? Yeah, I, I do think it's fixable. I, I, I think we need to... Uh, well, I'm not going to go in and break it down, but I think we have some good players there uh, on the power play. I, I, it's been a very, very important part of us uh, at the beginning of this year in some of our wins to score a goal in a game to keep us in it. And you got to remember, we were winning games and we were giving up 26, 27 scoring chances. We gave up 13 in, in, in Columbus. We gave up nine the other night. Um, it was 15, 15 going into the third period here. I, I think we're beginning to improve as far as with puck possession and, and making plays. Uh, the power play is uh, uh, something that I believe that we can get going. I, I, like, the, I like the way they moved it uh, uh, when everybody's booing the shit out of them after they let in a short and a goal, they stayed within themselves, they played, end up with some good scoring chances. Five on three, they had a couple of looks. Uh, so uh, those are our guys. You know, we have to try to help them and improve that because I think that's the only way we can stay in these games offensively is get some goals kicked in by that power play. John, you talked a lot during the summer about trying to set a new standard around here. Mm -hmm. How do you think the guys have grown to understand that standard so far? Yeah, I like the guys. I, I, uh, I'd be a lot more upset uh, with a loss if I don't think they're trying. And, uh, you know, you can boo us, you can talk shit about us. Uh, I, I will back those guys because they are trying. If it was an effort problem, then it's a different story. So those are the things that I have to coach. Those are the things that I have to be fair about. 
and we're trying to build this team. And uh, I'm very pleased with the effort. I don't give a shit what people think about out here. Thanks, everyone. Okay. Thanks, John. The room's open.